So our first bit of new stuff this term combination. So uh, we've been doing permutations, which is an ordered arrangement of objects. One person in the in the front seat of the boat, the next person in the next seat, the next person in the next seat. But what if we just don't care what order they're in? We've just got 10 people and we need to put them in a four person boat. How many groups of four people can we pick? That's when we're dealing with combinations. Classic question. You've got seven friends, but you've only got three extra tickets to like some concert. So you're going to go and you can pick three of your friends. Uh, how many different groups of friends can you bring? So obviously it doesn't matter what order they're in. There's no seats. So you're just bringing them into this concert with you. Uh, how many different groups of friends? So this is different to a permutations question. Um, let's first do it as a permutations question. So if you're to do it as a permutation question, that's pretty straightforward. Um, it's seven permute three. 7 factorial over 4 factorial, which is 210. If I call your friends A, B, C, D, E, F, G, this includes the groups A, B, C, for instance, but it also includes the group B, A, C, and it also includes the group A, C, B. Um, now, there's going to be like six different groups of A, B, C, B, A, C, A, C, B. I've actually counted this same group of three friends six times. So 210 is too, too big a number. So what I really should do is just consider the formula seven choose three. Now to do seven choose three is pretty straightforward. You do seven fact or you do, yeah, let's do seven factorial over that four factorial there but you're also multiplying the four factorial or dividing the whole lot really by the amount of times you're gonna repeat things. And the amount of times you're gonna repeat things is by that number there, factorial. So now I've got 210 divided by three factorial, 210 divided by six, which is 35. So you have 35 unique friend groups that you could take on this trip to this constant. That's the difference between seven choose three as opposed to seven permute three. We have this handy formula here that we can use. Uh, NCR is equal to N factorial, which in this case was the seven over R factorial, which was the three in that case, times N minus R, which was the seven minus three, which was the four in that case. So this is the formula we can use for the number of combinations. I'm going to do a couple of quick questions using combinations here. Pizza can have three toppings chosen from nine options. How many different pizzas can be made? Now, obviously, it doesn't matter whether you put the ham and then the pineapple or the pineapple and the ham. So in this case, it's a combinations question, not a permutations question. So we have uh, nine, choose uh, three. And that, according to our formula, is nine factorial over three factorial times nine minus three factorial, which is uh, nine factorial, three factorial, six factorial. Uh, calculator. A calculator tells me there's 84 toppings available. Uh, part B here, how many subsets of one, two, three, blah, 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 to 20, so all the numbers from one to 20 have exactly two elements. In other words, how many um, groups of two can you select from 20? So it's just 20 choose two, which is um, 20 factorial over two factorial, um, and then 20 minus two, which is 18 factorial. Okay, um, it might look like you need a calculator, they probably do. Uh, but 20 factorial divided by 18 factorial is uh, 20 times 19. And that'll cancel out our 18 factorial there. And then we're left with two factorial, which is just two. Um, that's 10 times 19, 190 is my answer there. This to your attention, it's an important piece of the puzzle here. Consider a group of six students. In how many ways can a group of two students be selected. 
Uh, now, that's going to be 6 choose 2. And you can work through the calculation there, but the answer is going to be 15. Second part of the question, in how many ways can a group of four students be selected? Uh, six, choose four, and you work through that, and your answer is 15 as well. Now, this might feel counterintuitive to begin with, um, but it actually makes a lot of sense. So let's say you've got six students in a group, and you take two of those students, and you choose two, which is what I'm doing here. Two students are being selected, and I bring them over here into this group. Let's say they've been chosen for a prize or something. That means that four of the students, the other four, haven't been chosen for the prize, right? Now, the number of ways that I select two is equal to the number of ways I reject the, the remaining ones. The, these two win a prize, those four don't win a prize. These three win a prize, these three don't win a prize. The combination of six choose two and six choose four, the number of ways of people winning is the same as the number of ways of people losing. Um, so more generally, we've got this neat little formula here that says that NCR is equal to NC N minus R. All right, so that can be really, really useful. And when we look at Pascal's triangle, you'll see that more, more visually. Just a note here, uh, NC0 is equal to one, because that says, what NC0 says, is there's a group of 100 people and choose zero of them. Well, there's only one way to do that. You just reject them all and that's it. Uh, NCN, um, now there's 100 people and you want to choose 100 people. There's only one way to do that, choose all of them. Um, NC1, so there's 100 people and you want to choose one of those people. There's 100 ways to do that. Choose that person, choose that person, choose that person. You just select one of the 100. Uh, and then, similar to what we just spoke about, NC N minus one. So there's 100 people and you want to choose 99. That's the same as selecting one person or just pushing someone away and saying, I'll have you 99. There's a hundred ways to choose 99 people out of a hundred people. Uh, sorry, there's a hundred, yeah, there's a hundred ways to choose 99 people out of a hundred people. Okay, so there's some quick ones. You won't need your calculator if you run into any of those. Oh, second last thing. I really wanted to show you this question just because I think it's really neat. Uh, we have looked at this question before. The grid shown consists of unit squares by traveling only right or down, get from A to B. How many different paths are there? Now we've used one way to do this using um, like objects and permutations, but you can actually do it using combinations. So um, let's see. So I could go um, right and down and right and down and right and down and right and right. So what I've done is move down on my second move. That's a D there move down on my fourth move and move down on my sixth move. But in fact, I could have moved down on any of my moves. I could have moved down, 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 or I could have moved right all across and then moved down as my last three moves. So really what I'm doing is choosing three of these boxes to be my down move. So I'm choosing eight from, th I'm choosing three from eight, or eight choose three, and the answer is 56. So probably a neater way to do the question to how we've done it previously, now that we know what a combination is. Last step, an alternative way to write NCR is this little, this little bracket. There's so curved brackets here, the N and the R there. So we can write, I'll just write, write it here so we can see, six choose two, we can write that as six, two, like that. And then that's gonna be six factorial over two factorial, four factorial, which is 15. Just some alternative notation so you know what it is. Uh, now this has been a big video, it's about 10 minutes long. I have covered off a lot of stuff when it comes to combinations. But combinations, it's been waiting for us to get here now that we're there. There's really not a lot to talk about. There's a formula. 
four combinations. Um, there's this neat little result here where picking two students is the same as rejecting four students or picking four students. Uh, there's a few of these quick ideas here. Um, and then there really is some alternative stuff. Uh, so that's combinations. It's time to get stuck in and actually get some of these questions done.